Hey everyone, welcome to Pokemon Go News Episode 8. On this episode, we talk about the Pokemon Go Plus, the team I'm going to join, and the end of the beta. So the Pokemon Go Plus is a wristband that, that Niantic has created to be a supplement to the iPhone gaming experience. Bracelet swag. And it looks like this. Now you would wear it as a bracelet on your wrist, basically all day or whenever you wanted to play the game. So the reason for the creating this, Niantic says, is that they don't want people staring at their phones all day and trying to look through and see their surroundings. What they'd rather do is instead is have the players leave their phone in their pocket and experience the real world normally and just be able to supplement game experience on the phone with the bracelet. Now, okay, yeah, it sounds all nice, but duh, they're trying to make money. But at least they meant it to sound nice, so whatever. We'll let them slide. Bracelet swag. So this wristband is going to be $35, and you're able to pre-order at Amazon.com, GameStop, and Nintendo.com. So here's how it works. You connect the wristband to Bluetooth with your phone, and once you have it on and connected to your phone, when, when you walk by a Pokemon, it's going to vibrate, or colored LED in the middle of the Pokeball will flash green. And once it does that, you'll tap the button in the middle of the bracelet to throw a Pokeball. And then you'll wait a few seconds to see if you caught it. If you caught it, the LEDs will be flashing rainbow, and if you didn't catch it, the LED will be flashing red. Now one question I have is, how do we know a Pokeball worth throwing? We don't know yet. Bracelet swag. Maybe it's just throwing a Pokeball, the lowest level ball you have, because I certainly don't want to be throwing the highest level ball in case I have a Master Ball. Or maybe it's related to the CP of the Pokemon, and then maybe they do some math to say the ball relates to, and so we're going to choose an Ultra Ball. And at their E3 conference, Nintendo also said you could use the bracelet to pick up items. Bracelet swag. So what do I think of it? Well, I'm a YouTuber, so I'm obviously going to get it. I'll make a sweet unboxing video for you guys. But for the more casual gamer, 35 bucks. So if I was a casual gamer, these are the three reasons I would get it. One is when I'm walking with friends and, and I might want to be catching Pokemon because I saw that there were some cool ones around. Now, if you're walking with your friends and talking, it's rude to just pull out your phone and just go like this and completely zombie on everyone else. So the bracelet will be good for that. Second is if you're driving or if you're riding in a car, I mean, you're not, you're not gonna be sitting there on your phone and be able to catch your, catch your Pokemon because they'll just be zipping by. So the bracelet will help with that. And then third is exercising. So if you're on runs, you're on jogs, you don't want to be running and be like, dun, 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 dun. You want to have your phone in your pocket, just listening to music and then just be able to do, press the bracelet if to instantly throw the ball and see if you catch the Pokemon. Bracelet swag. Now on to what team I'm going to join. So there's three teams. Blue, red, and yellow. And I'm guessing most people will be picking blue because that's everyone's favorite color. And for the people that don't pick blue, they're gonna be picking red because who the heck wants yellow? And for me, I'm gonna be picking yellow. Why? Because I like being different than everyone and it'll be fun being the underdog that's I'll be going back to school in the fall. Basically all the randos will be on the blue and red teams. And me and my friends, we can be on the yellow team, so hopefully it'll be a squad of just us. Now your team matters for going to capture gyms, because you and your team members can will be using your Pokemon to go take out the other team's Pokemon. And then once you're in the gyms, there'll be a certain number of slots that your team members can put Pokemon in. So if you have a big team, you can go take over lots of gyms and try and get as much XP from them as possible. But, since there's more people, and maybe if you all are in the same area and there's a fixed number of gyms, there's going to be a lot less slots for you to put Pokemon in. If you don't have Pokemon in the gym, you'll not be getting the coin and Stardust bonus every 21 hours. But if you're on a smaller team, like this one, a little mini, it might be a little bit harder to attack gyms and win them because you're gonna have a much lower spread of higher level Pokemon. They're gonna be more concentrated towards the middle of the scale. But once you do take over a gym, there'll be a lot more slots for you to put a Pokemon in because 
all the other randos on your team won't be coming up in the Pokemon end since it's per first come first served and you'll be getting all those bonuses. So I like the risk of possibly getting more coins and Stardust to further my adventure versus yes yeah, saying we have X amount of gems when I don't get anything for it. Now an interesting tidbit is how much space is this app going to take up? So for the beta, the size of the app was 156 megabytes, which is you know 15% of one gigabyte. Now I would expect the full game to have a little bit more, so maybe 200 megabytes. So bank on 200 megabytes being the size of the full game app and go delete enough space in your phone to hold that. So if you have a 16 gigabyte iPhone like I do, the lowest one, you'll probably be deleting about half your apps and all your photos to get this thing to fit. Now for our final story, which is the beta is over. Wah, 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 wah. Niantic announced it earlier in emails this week, sent it to the beta testers, and it's gonna be over tomorrow. I would guess at midnight. They said June 30th, so basically within 24 hours, or 25 hours. It's 11 p.m. right now. And all the beta testers are gonna have their phones wiped clean. So I wanted to give a thank you to all the beta testers who went through all the bugs, all the sucky stuff like the 1 HP glitch and everything else that was muffed up with the game and sticking with it and telling Niantic so that they can make an awesome game for all of us regs who didn't get in. So seriously, thank you. And since it's the end of the beta, they'll be wiping everyone's progress, which means all the trainers will be losing all their Pokemon, which is really sad. So I want to take a moment of silence to recognize some of these teams. And that's it for today. Thank you for tuning in. And this is episode eight, so that means we survived a week thanks to you guys, all, I think 25 of you now. 25 people care what I'm talking about. I'm so lucky, thank you. It means the world to me. And yo, tweet at me, 25 subscriber special. I'll keep, <laughs> actually don't tweet at me. I like videos. Send me a video message. Go look at my, go look at some of the replies I've sent to people. Um, Yeah, go Arcanine. Plastered all over my face. So send me some of those. I'd like them. I'll retweet a bunch of them. Because you guys are awesome. So thank you and subscribe! Right now, do it! Now! Go! And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.